number one was really hard to film but we're on number two now it's a par five this course i know this course very well um i played here a lot when i was competing um but this tournament obviously it's ran by my brand story golf and so doesn't matter how easy a golf course is if you don't practice that much or are not playing a lot any course becomes tough right so All right, guys, I want to kind of bring you into what I'm thinking. So I'm like, I'm on the second shot. I got like 250 uphill, wins against us. I need to hook it around this tree. And the lie wasn't great, to be honest with you. But I hit it pretty good, honestly, uh, just a little chunky. So I left myself around like 30 yards on my third shot. It's a par five. I just knew that I had to make sure I get up high enough over the bunker and try to spin it and honestly couldn't have executed that shot better. One of my better shots chipping wise but that like I said not playing a lot these little testers are tough. But thankfully I got birdie here. Hole number three, we are approaching one of the harder part threes on the golf course. I took a little bit of a cutsy club here, to be honest with you, nine iron. The wind started taking it left, so I was kind of freaking out a little bit, but thankfully it caught the rough. And you could see me like looking at my playing partner. I was like, did you guys see that drop? I, I couldn't even see it drop. I was actually kind of looking for a splash, but thankfully there was no splash. So now I'm in the rough, just ahead of the water, and it's nasty lie. This lie, it's super aggressive grain, lots of rough, and it's just a tough chip shot. Honestly, like you're, you guys can't really see from this angle. I opened the club face so much. I wanted to utilize the bounce. Because if I didn't, I was going to chunk the crap out of it. So I had to make sure that that club face was open. And I had to swipe at it. Not my best effort, but you know what? It was was not bad. Now here was uh, a real tester. I got a little right to lefter outside the cup. I had to really commit to my line. The stroke was good. I'm really thankful for that up and down. I'm approaching number four. What's going through my head is I started bogey, birdie, par. I'm on number four now. It's a tough tee shot. So I reminded myself I got to make sure I'm focused, put good tempo on it, which I did. A little bit of a save, but these little momentum swings are super important because before you play a tournament, you should know how the course is mapped out. And if you do know, you're going to know that certain holes are tougher than others. So you got to make sure you're more on point. You're more focused. You're really choosing a good target. Because when the times that are flowing, you just flow. The times you're uncomfortable, you got to just chill and slow a little bit. So I left myself 170 yards. It's uphill and a bit of wind going left and hurting. Got a six iron, choke down. I wanted to flight it a little bit. So I put the ball a little bit in the middle of my stance. I'm not gonna lie, this wasn't the most comfortable shot for me. So I got like a 40, 50 footer. Here's a pro tip for you guys. Always look at it from the side. It's gonna help you look at the depth perception better. It's gonna give you more positive reaffirmation on what you have to do. So you're just constantly just ingraining what you got to do in your head. Boom, 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 boom. Keep doing this. Boom, 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 boom. Get the good thoughts going. So the negative thoughts could just be played out. I was a bit aggressive there, so I didn't like this little tester coming back, to be honest. It was a nice little um, put back. Like, again, another tester. You have to commit to it and just, just be aggressive. Um, thankfully, I knocked this one in. Good par on probably the number one handicap hole on the golf course. Now, guys, here's the, here's the biggest pro tip of it all. This hole, I hate this hole. 
I, I, I don't like it. it. Doesn't suit my eye. It's not necessarily narrow. But you really got to commit to a target, commit commit to a shape, and commit to your swing and finish. That's that's the best advice I can give you on a hole that you don't feel comfortable with. I'm happy with this shot, not because of the result. I'm happy because I did what I wanted to do, and it was just not a good swing. It ended up right. I was in the rough on the right. You're going to see where I'm going to be on my second shot. But I'm happy about it because I committed to what I want. Now, we're human. It doesn't always pan out how we want it to pan out. So now we got our second shot. This is super downwind. So I had like 164 to the pin. I had about 155 to carry the bunker on the right. But if you try to land it on the green at the pin, it's going to just go way long. So believe it or not, I'm hitting a pitching wedge here. And you're going to see exactly why that was a mistake. Should have hit 9-iron, 165. Got a little scared. Now I got like a 50, 60 footer left. <laughs> Not ideal. Long putt. You, you got to really just go with your feels. There's no mechanics involved. It's like shooting a half court jump shot. Um, I hit it. Speed was actually really good. I'm very happy with that putt. So I left myself with like a three to four footer, right guys? This is where the problem is. This whole putt, I wasn't committed. I lost focus. And... You're going to see exactly what happens when you lose focus. Watch this. Just disgusting. That was just so bad. Like, I looked up, wasn't committed, and I just missed it. Simple putt, right? These are the momentum killers if you let it get to yourself, right? You got to gather yourself. You got to regroup and remind yourself there's plenty of holes left. We can't let this... Make another bad shot after. You know, I felt like I committed pretty well on this shot. Um, generally speaking, crosswind 200 yards. You got a long iron in your hand, it's not an easy shot. Got a tough chip here. This is a feel shot. I'm not going to tell you guys there's like some secret soft to this. That was a very well executed shot. Very well. Now, this is where I like to call the committee starts going in your head. If I miss this putt, I got two bogeys in a row, I missed two short putts. That's what's going through my mind a little bit until I regather myself. I let my mind go there, but when the shot came to where I had to execute, I focused right in and what I had to do. Thankfully, this time, I was able to make that putt. So we got a par five here, straight ahead, dog leg right. Nothing crazy, just choose a really good target. My target was that bunker straight ahead. And I just wanted to trust my little fade that was happening today the whole day. This was actually one of my better driver swings. Pretty happy about that one. Now I have 230. I got wind behind. I got a 4-iron in my hand. And the reason being is because I know I can't hit a 4-iron 220. But I'm okay with being in the front bunker. It's not a difficult shot. I hit it good. And you guys can't see it from here, but I got into the bunker. And you'll see the bunker shot next. Now you guys, I got this bunker shot. The lie wasn't great, to be honest. I chunked it. And, um... I get that bunker shot like a C. It wasn't bad. It wasn't good. It was just bleh. I got like a 10 footer. It's a right to left. Commit to your putt. This one, well, this, the caddy uh, is blocking the putt, but I made it, thankfully. Nice little birdie here. Kept my head in the game. Happy about it. So now we approach the eighth hole. Wind going right. Um, swing's feeling good, you know. Usually when I'm, my swing's feeling this good, I just kind of aim and go. It was a good swing. I got about 168 left. I, got, I like to call it about a five-yard five, five yard wind. I'm going with a choke down eight iron. Because with that choke down eight iron, it's not going to carry as far. It's going to come in a little lower. This was actually a very good swing. And you don't hear me say that I made a very good swing often. I usually say pretty good. I have like a 12 to 15 footer uphill. 
nothing crazy. It was just pretty a straight, straight putt. Didn't feel the most comfortable over this, to be honest. Wasn't the best putt, to be honest. That was a kind of a... The speed was kind of off. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, these short putts are really predicated off of your commitment. I am i don't care if you guys are sick of me saying this. I'm going to keep saying it. Just so I implement it in your guys' head. Commit to your short putts. Choose a line. Choose your speed and just execute. We, we approach hole number nine. A little dog leg left. I'm electing to carry these trees. I hit this pretty good, but I think I caught a tree because I didn't carry everything. You guys will see when we get up. So I'm in the rough here. Um, I got about 115. Now I got a little scared because I thought this lie was going to be a flyer. So I switched clubs uh, from 52 degree to 56. Um, you're going to see why that was a bad idea. <laughs> There's water on the right. You don't want to go long. Bunker on the left. I hate to say this, but I just hit this like a little, like, little boy. I hit this like a little boy. You know, I didn't man up and just swing. Now, I, I always like to go up to the green when I can to see where I want to land the ball, guys. Now, this lie sitting down, I was kind of cratered in this little, like, dirt patch. I knew I'd open the face, use my bounce to go at the ground. And thankfully, you'll see that this turned out to be okay. So I end up making the putt. I made par. We turn after nine at even par. Huge dog leg right. This is a very aggressive play. I usually hit hybrid, but I needed to kind of put the pedals to the metal. So I wanted to get more birdie chances. So I hit a driver here. If I don't fade it, I'm screwed. I'm going into the range. So I trusted myself. Fade was perfect. I hit it great. And here's another lesson for you guys. If I'm fading it all day and I trust it, I'm hitting driver. But if I'm hit, like pulling it all day, like I'm no, I'm not gonna hit driver, right? So it's just like knowing yourself, being self-aware of what's going on throughout the day, and just you know going playing it by ear. You know you gotta pivot. Primo drive. Got about 100 yards left. Stop 56 degree. Right at it. Okay. I don't think I could have hit it better other than hitting it in the hole. Nice on. Can't lose focus here. Wasn't obviously a gimme. It's more like seven feet. But I committed really good. I committed to the speed. Kept my head down better. Good birdie. I got rewarded for my aggressiveness. Which is awesome. Now they put the tees all the way back here. This is hole number 11. We've got 172 yards. Wind's going down, which is scary because if you go a little long, you're just screwed. So I hit an eight iron to be safe, to make sure I'm not gonna go long. Caught it kind of high in the face. Uh, hit it super high. I'm leaving myself with like a 30 footer. Greens are extra slow, so now that I have that data throughout the whole round, I'm going to try to hit it harder every putt. Good speed, just didn't go in. Good par, honestly. Not going to hurt. Not going to hurt your momentum. Straight down par 4, number 12. This is where I got to execute. I did pretty good. Driver was working today. It hasn't been lately, but this tournament was doing pretty good for me. So as you guys can see, this tree's kind of in my way. I have to kind of hook a 60 degree around. It's like 74 yards. And so I got to just kind of like let the ground do its work. Everything's going to bounce left. So I did just that. I honestly hit it as good as I could. Got a perfect kick left, as you guys can see. That was a good shot. So I got like a live six footer, but this, this putt was actually a huge breaker right to left. That was a good birdie. Another good birdie. 
Good job, Sam. So par five, 540, wind's not really helping, so kind of a longer par five. Wide open, I'm just here to smack it. I didn't really hit it great, to be honest. So I have like 250 here. I was gonna go with the three wood, but I changed clubs because I wanted to stay shorter. So I'm electing to go with the hybrid, 247, 250, trying to sling it around a little bit to get a little extra yardage. So it was feeling pretty good over this. I just left it out to the right a little bit, but it was a good swing. It's gonna be just left of that bunker on the right. Leave myself a decent chip. So I don't like hitting these shots low because there's a lot of grass behind it. So I tried to hit it higher. I honestly hit it exactly how I wanted to hit it. Didn't release on me, even though it was a down slope. Disappointing times, but what can I say? I did what I wanted to do. How can I get mad, right? Huge right to left breaker, 12 to 15 feet. This one was one of those ones where I didn't commit. I didn't listen to my own advice. Huge breaker, greens are slow. You gotta really be aggressive and commit to that line that you have. If you don't, it's gonna just die on you and go to the low side. So that's what I get, smack myself. Straight ahead par four. From what I remember, this was one of my favorite swings of the day. I just remember committing to it and just, mm. That one was good. So I left myself like 140 wins against. This is one of those things where like when you don't play a lot, you don't know your distances that well. And I think this is kind of showing that. Hit it good. Came well short though. I'm like 30 feet, 40 feet. And I thought I hit it good. So that tells me like, oh, you don't know your distances as well. Like that's what I need to work on. So you guys, as you can see, I have a long putt, a straight uphill. Just gotta smack it. You know, these ones, you just gotta kind of pray and just hit it hard. I hit that one not as hard as I should have. I left myself a four footer. So I left myself a tester. Like I said again, commit, commit, commit. And that was shady. <laughs> That was like a toilet bowl, like As we're approaching the last few holes, you know, it's go time. Probably put a little too much pressure on myself than I should have, to be honest. This was a good drive. I hit this one good, really good, down the middle again. So 100 yards here, 56 degree again. Yeah, just stock, nothing special. I did try to put a lower trajectory into it. Maybe not the best idea because it didn't reach all the way to the pin. But all in all, a good shot. So I got like a 15 footer uphill. It's crazy, like as I'm watching this with you guys, like it's a lot more uphill than I thought. I think I didn't look at it on the side on this one. I mean, I got it there, don't get me wrong, but it kind of tells you too, like when you see it at a different angle, things are a lot, it looks different. That's why you gotta look at it like almost 3D. You gotta look at it like at all angles to give yourself more data. And it'll give you more comfort. Cause when you give yourself more data, what it does is it's like, it's implementing positive things of, oh, it's uphill. It's gonna break left edge. You're constantly telling yourself what to do, what you wanna accomplish instead of like, oh, don't pull it, don't push it, blah, blah, blah. 185, just a tough part of three. Can't really go too far left. I got a six iron, just aiming at the pin, trying to put a little draw on it. Pulled it a little bit, but ended up being a little past pin high on the green. So it's all in all pretty good shot. So like I said, again, you guys see this angle when you go further back, it's pretty downhill. Yeah, this is probably like a 30, 40 footer. I had a lot of 30, 40 footers today. Not, not very fun golf. But hit that pretty good, I think. You know what guys, you know what I like to say too is if you hit it past the hole on a relatively decent line, you can't be mad because you gave it a shot and you miss 100 out of about 100 putts when you leave it short. So getting it past the hole, committed to your line is key. Made that one. So on to the last two holes. It's where I need to really execute. So got a huge dog leg left, longer par five, around 550. 
Driver was just working today. I hit this one pretty good too. I got a little downhill lie. Ball's gonna come out low. I got like 265. I'm not gonna reach it. That was a cool looking shot, honestly. Now I have a tough chip because I'm in the rough. Wind's going straight downhill. My landing area is downhill. So it's actually really hard to judge where I need to land this 30 yard chip shot. Yeah, see, like, I landed it good, but it just kept running because I wasn't accustomed to, like, having zero spin. I hit a good putt. Broke a little more than I thought. Tap in par. Yep, happy about that drive. Driver was boring today. It was just long. Not long. I'm going to be honest. It wasn't that long. It was just straight. I had about 74 yards, I believe, here. Wind is going howling right. Water left. Left it out right a little bit and hit it a little hard. I'm going to leave myself with a 25, 20-footer. 20 you guys don't understand how badly I wanted to make this putt. But guess what I did? I left it short, so I guess I didn't want it that bad. This was a fun round. It was a story open. Always grateful to be doing these events. Shot 70 today, two under. Can't be, can't complain, honestly. It was a great round. Could have been a lot better. But thank you for tuning in. Until next time, guys. Peace.